guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I am one happy camper because guess what? I have my first press fleet vehicle to bring to you from Mazda and boy, did they hit this one right out of the park. I have a 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata, but guess what? It's exactly the way that I would option mine. Not only is it the club trim level, but it also has the Brembo brake performance package and the Recaro seat package as well. Plus, ceramic metallic, I think I found my new love when it comes to my favorite color on a Mazda because sole red, definitely great, but I'm really digging this ceramic metallic. But let's go ahead and talk a little bit about history. Mazda's been around since 1920. Their first product wasn't even a car. It was actually cork. Yes, cork. You use it all the time in your wine bottles and whatnot. That was what their first product was. It wasn't until 1931 that Mazda made a three-wheeled pickup truck called the Mazda Go. As the years went by, Mazda continued to grow, especially after World War II, just like many other nations rebuilding and lots of new companies emerging and existing companies trying to figure out how to get cheap transportation for people. Mazda really hit the nail on the head by taking that rotary engine that already existed, doing the business to it, and making it work for them. For decades, the rotary engine was synonymous with Mazda. So much so that in 1991, Mazda became the first Japanese car company to win the coveted 24 Hours of Le Mans. Not only were they the first Japanese company to do that, but they were the first with a rotary engine. And since then, nobody else has replicated that with a rotary engine. Now, because emission standards have changed, governmental laws, things like that, regulations, the rotary engine is really not very viable in today's 21st century. But you know what? Mazda still has some zoom zoom that they're bringing to the table. And the way they're doing it is with the Mazda MX-5 Miata. The Miata first debuted back in 1989 as a 1990 model. People stormed to Mazda dealerships to get a Miata. It was all about the true essence of driving. Two seats, top down, small, nimble, light on its feet, not a lot of horsepower, but boy, if you know how to drive, the Miata will reward you like no other car. And what's wonderful is that even though there's been four generations with this current one, it still holds true to that. And one thing that I love about the Miata is that it only weighs about 300 pounds more than the original. And think about that. Think about how did Mazda do that? Because we got airbags, we have all this safety tech, all this other equipment that gets put into cars that weren't around in 1990. Big, big gains by Mazda on this car overall. Another thing is that they hit it out of the park with the styling. Let's get into this 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata doesn't say Miata anywhere on this car, but we know it as a Miata, but it is an MX-5. Love the styling. When they went to the new generation, my jaw dropped. It had a very Jaguar free-flowing form to it. And with the club level trim, you're gonna see some additions. So when it comes to that nice small headlight housing, these are LED lights, nice and bright. As we come down, you got some uh, DRLs in the front fascia. And then this is the first addition. This piece right here comes at the Club Sport trim pad. So you have different levels. This one being Club, you get this nice front splitter. Great look, comes out just enough. My only thing that I wish that it did do is I wish it just stayed extended. You see how it kind of tucks in? But you know what? Overall, perfect. I like the gloss black, matches that lower splitter down there. As we come up onto the hood, there's that Mazda logo perfect body lines. The fit and finish on this car are second to none. As we go up onto the hood, very distinctive character lines. It gives it such an aggressive look, and that's what Mazda intended. They wanted this to be a car that didn't look fluffy and soft and cute. They wanted to give it some of that aggression. As we come around the corner, talk about aggression, check out these wheels. So when you go the Brembo Performance Brake Package, you're getting these beautiful 17-inch. It's almost, they're black, but they, it's like a light black. It's not like super dark, 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 like a crystal black, but I love BBS wheels. Such a famous name when it comes to racing. Great style, 
a 17 inch wheel. You're gonna have lots of different engine options, uh, excuse me, tire options to put on this wheel. You can see that they're running uh, nice Bridgestones. The Bridgestones are gonna give you some great grip, but they're also gonna give you some durability and a nice ride. You can see the four piston Brembo calipers. We don't need pizza size rotors on this thing. The car only weighs about 2,300 pounds at the end of the day. Love it, love this setup and I think it works perfect. I think you would agree with me. These wheels with the ceramic metallic, spot on. As we go around the fender here, you'll see I love the way that they put the uh, side marker lights and you can also notice how they actually imprint some body lines there to kind of follow the, li the lines of the light. Very nice touch. As we go down, when we talk club, blacked out um, windshield frame. I like the way it's actually painted and then you have painted black covers. We drop down. Here's an addition. So what they did was they didn't just throw a front splitter on the front. They actually have the side sill extensions. These are all functional pieces and boy do they look good. I think overall the lines of this car with the top down, amazing. You have the dual roll hoops which I really like and I like the way that they're black to make it a nice cohesive look and then as we work past these beautiful rear fenders you're going to get a nice deck lid trunk lid spoiler nice bit of kick up gloss black i also love the way that they kept that lower bodywork from that trim package all the way around the rear to your twin snorkel exhaust one thing you'll notice first time on a miata you have a backup camera the reason why is that's regulated by law so mazda was holding out holding out holding out you now have a backup camera love the style of the taillights i think Mazda does some of the best taillights. They almost look like supercar style taillights. But as we go up on to the actual trunk, I think it's so smart how they took the third brake light and really slim and trim off the back. Would I like to see a tonneau cover covering this top? Sure. I'm not going to zonk it though, and you'll see why. Putting this top up and down is so easy. It's unbelievable. Plus, it's going to keep that weight down. You get another piece of material to cover this that's just going to add weight but why don't we go ahead we're going to pop the hood and see what surprises lurk at the front end of the business let's go check it out all right guys we got the hood popped on this mazda miata now remember that same great fun sports car driving that the gi's learned about while they were out fighting in world war ii this car has that top down two seat fun even in the 21st century as all those other brands MG and Austin Healey and whatnot kind of have fizzled out. It's great that we have this car and that's why it's such a great selling sports car. Underneath the hood, this is where we're gonna see some changes. So still a two liter inline four, naturally aspirated. First of all, that engine is drop dead sexy. Uh, it's beautiful, very minimal plastic. I love just how clean it is underneath the hood. It has a massive strut tower brace that goes from corner to corner. You're also gonna get some beefed up suspension when you go the club trim level. It's not just, hey, we stick some body work on. Your handling is actually gonna get better. But what you're looking at, like I said, two liter inline four, more horsepower, guys and girls. You have forged pistons, forged connecting rods. That's gonna give us 181 horsepower at 7,500 RPM. That's up by 26 horsepower over the last year's model. Last year, 155. If you don't wanna do the math, that's 155 horsepower. But this one has 181 horsepower. It's got 151 pounds, feet of torque. That is an increase of three over the outgoing model. This one has that wonderful six-speed transmission. Now, with the six-speed transmission, it actually has been redone over to increase the positivity of the shifting. And you know what? They've done a hell of a job because it is such a wonderful feeling gearbox to just mechanically go through one gear to another. But you can also get an automatic if that's what suits you. Zero to 60, 5.7 seconds, and you do it with one shift first to second, quarter mile 14.5 at 95 miles an hour, top speed 140 miles per hour. But like I said, the weight has only gone up about 300 pounds since the 1990 model. Now, one of the greatest things about this car is not just the fun, not just the balance that it has, but also MPGs. You're looking at 26 in the city, 34 on the highway. This is why I feel that this is the perfect sports car 
It makes you enjoy driving. It's just simplistic, but yet the changes that they made to the engine, to the transmission, the exhaust is less restrictive. They actually recalibrated the exhaust as well to get as much power for right now, I'm sure they're probably working on more, that they could get out of this, and it really feels closer to an S2000. But you know what? Let's go ahead, it's that time. Let's fire it up and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2019 Mazda MX-5. That's technically what it's called, but you know and I know this is a Miata, and I'm proud to say it because this is a great car. Sitting in these seats, wonderful. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, I want to get in on this awesome sports car. I want to go have some simplistic fun. How much does it cost? This one is fully optioned. Fully, fully optioned. $35,000 is the MSRP. You could come in at many different levels. I believe off the top of my head, the Sport is around 25,000. So it really just depends on how far do you wanna go, and that's great, it's great to have those options. Let's see what you get. Now, when you go club level, I love the way they bring the outside color into the door panel. Really cool, especially when the doors are closed. I love the leather on the armrest, and I love that red contrast stitching. Of course, the armrest is very small, but this is a smaller car. You do have some faux carbon fiber just to spice it up a little bit. And you know what? It's tasteful. And when the doors are closed, you don't even notice it, to be honest with you. But very, very nicely done. Now, as we transition from the door to the dash, material is hard. But you know what? You're not touching this. This is also uh, on the harder side. It's a little bit softer, but I like the way they brought the red, that sole red stitching, all the way from the door into the dash and I also like the way the dash is just nice and forward and there's a nice curve to the windshield that makes it feel really great in here. Gloss black around the AC vents and I, just to show you how smart the engineers are, they could have easily just gave you two over here and one over there but look, they were able to find some extra real estate and give you another AC vent so you could give two to your passenger and two to you or you could have three on you and hey, the hell with your passenger, they're only getting one. You have nice size infotainment screen. This has navigation and everything. You could use the touch screen if you want to, or I'm gonna show you a different way in a second. Very simple AC controls, push button start. You got a nice little cubby here for your phone with two USBs. This does have uh, heated seats. Here's the magical part. This is, where, this is where the magic happens. Very nice, slick shifting, six speed transmission. You could hear it as it engages into each gate Perfect. I love the size of the shift knob. You're able to just palm it very nicely. Now remember, when you're shifting, I know everybody's been watching Fast and the Furious and you think you gotta manhandle it. No, that's not how you drive a manual transmission. You're just applying a little bit of pressure. That's it. If you're finding yourself grabbing on that thing and just ramming it through the gears, you're gonna break something. That's what you're gonna do. Because there's other parts besides the gear and the gearbox, you have synchros and stuff, which you're gonna destroy. So nice and gentle, and guess what, with this car, it rewards you when you're smooth. That's what this car is all about. Good old fashioned e-brake. I'm so glad they took the simula uh, simulated leather, leather, put it on the handle. You got the red contrast stitching. This little guy right here, you get a nice um, info knob. So you turn the knob and you could actually go through different functions on, your in on the infotainment. So you have different applications, all that kind of stuff. That is smart because I don't really want to touch the screen. I like using this knob, it's so easy. You could go back home, you could go back into your navigation, you could zoom in, zoom out. The graphics are a little dated, but you know what? This car, the money's being spent on the fun factor. You have a little bit of a cubby here for your phone. If you're wondering what the heck is this, this is your cup holder. You get two of these. You could put it here, you could put it here, or you could just toss it and say, hey, you know what? We're not drinking in the car, there's no reason to, we're having fun but it's nice to have that versatility. You got a little bit of a storage bin right here, which is very nice. There's the other cup holder. And then this is really the, 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 the icing on top, the cherry on top of the icing. These were Carl seats, amazing. They fit your body like a glove, at least my body. I love the Alcantara, the red piping, the red stitching here, very nicely done. Recaro badging in the back, 
The speakers are built into the, uh, into the headrest to give a nice clean look, but why don't you come on over and I wanna show you the business side of things. But before we do that, let me show you what makes this car so special. Watch this. So what I love about the Miata is the ease of use, not just driving it, but putting up the top, you just lift this handle, that's it. You're ready to rock and roll. Now you're not gonna get wet in the rain. When the clouds go away and Mr. Sunshine is back out, that's it. You don't need a power top, There's no need for it. And people, I've seen all ages be able to pop that back there. But now, get your butt over here. I wanna show you the business end. All right, guys, business end, behind the wheel of the 2019 Miata. I wanna show you something that's also new. So besides underneath the engine, underneath the hood in the engine and the um, reworked gearbox, the mildly reworked gearbox, one thing they reworked are the doors. So you close the door, obviously everybody knows that, but with this, you have two positions. What they did was they changed it from three. A lot of owners were saying that there was no need to have the three, it was actually getting in the way. So you have nice two position. I think that's way, way smarter. But why don't you come on over here and I'll show you what's going on. We have a nice, this is an option, this uh, aluminum trim on the sill, I like it. And as you can see, it's perfect because it's gonna help get, uh, help stop the plastic from getting all scratched up. This will take a better beating. And I like the MX-5 logo here. Recarls, you can see you got just enough bolstering. It's not too high. Up here is great. You still got some wiggle room, so don't worry, it's not gonna squeeze you like a vice grip. Here's another change for 2019. Are you ready for this? First time ever, tilting and telescoping steering wheel on a Mazda Miata. What that's gonna do is for people like me, and maybe some of you that are taller, it's gonna give you more adjustability to get comfortable in the car. Steering wheel is great. I wish it was just a little bit thicker, but still, I understand we're working with only so much real estate in here. So it does have a great grip to it. I love the leather, the red contrast stitching, and it's such a, just a, it's a sexy looking wheel. In today's day and age, you know what? They got a pretty minimalistic amount of buttons on it. I like the silver trim. Another thing that I like is the gauge setup here. You have the tachometer smack dab in the center. You got a digital display that's round. They didn't square it off and put it in a round opening. So thank you Mazda for not doing that. I also like the way the speedometer is just off to the side. The business is front and center. That's what this car is about, is the business. One thing I wanna do though, before we take this for a spin, I wanna show you just how usable the trunk is in this 2019 Miata. All right, guys, I wanna go ahead and pop the trunk and show you what type of space we're working with. Before we do that, I did forget, how dare I, shame on me. I wanna zonk this guy right here. I don't know why we have to have this antenna. It'd be great, we have the shark fin here. Why not have it all just located right here and take that off? Because I think we both agree, if that wasn't there, the lines would be even cleaner than what they are. But let's go ahead and pop the trunk. How you do that, you have two options. You could press the trunk release inside the uh, car, or you just come over here and there's a button, you hit that. To be honest with you, it's actually quite spacious for this type of car. The opening is a little bit smaller than a Camaro, believe it or not, but once you get in there, it actually is a lot of space. This does not have a spare. You do have a flat fix kit. There is some lighting in there, so you could, if it's dark out and you need to get in there, but you know what? I've been able to put all my camera gear back there. I went uh, grocery shopping, was able to fit plenty of things. I mean, if you got a family of 10, you're probably gonna want a bigger car, but you know what? If you got less mouths to feed or less people hanging around the house that you gotta feed them, you could probably take care of your grocery shopping and put the top down and enjoy yourself because that's what this car is all about. But if you're ready, I wanna prove it to you. Let's go ahead and take this Miata for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2019 Mazda Miata Club. We're found some twisty roads. And if you're ready, I'm ready. Here we go from a dead stop. the transmission. This car is such a blast to drive. It's crazy how quick steering turning is. So when you turn that wheel, it's already, it's like, before you even like think about turning the wheel, it's already turning. That's how quick the steering is in this Miata and that's why 
with this car, it's all about momentum. It's not a high horsepower car, 181 horsepower, plenty of power, but through the twisties, you could carry so much speed in this thing. And with the six speed, it's a, it's a dream to drive. Hill toe downshifting is a snap. I love having the top down. Here we go. Third gear, just gonna leave it there for right now. Really smooth how the car just handles back and forth, back and forth through the transitions. Fourth gear on the brakes. Hill toe. Nicely done. This car is a blast. I'm telling you, there's something about driving a car that doesn't have a ton of horsepower, going through the twisty bits, and just enjoying yourself. And really being able to showcase your skill, because at the end of the day, that's what makes you fast in a car like this, is if you know what you're doing behind the wheel. Comfortable as, as can be sitting here on this little back country road, um, just overall, I am blown away with this car. More that I drive them, the more that I want one. But the way it just, it takes that weight and just positions it perfectly. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. And you know what? What I love about this car is you don't have a bunch of settings, you know, set the suspension this way, put it in this, uh, uh, you know, mode. It's just, there, there's none of that. You just drive. And the suspension that comes with that, that club trim level really does a great job of being planted, but also soaks up the bumps really well. And uh, that is a big plus, because you could daily drive this and not get beat up. And these Recaros hug you like a glove, they really do. That naturally aspirated engine sounds so good. The brakes, those Brembos are amazing. Another great part about this is you get the snarl at the back, snarl from that intake, and you don't get any real wind buffeting. amazing this is amazing this is what driving is all about it's about having fun going through the twisties anybody could go fast in a straight line it really doesn't take much to go do a top speed run unless you're doing you know 300 miles an hour or something like that but taking this car out and just enjoying the drive clutch pickup is perfect if you've never driven a clutch before a manual transmission and you're a little scared of that clutch the clutch is so light, the pickup point is so spot on, it's perfect. It really is. You can hear the sound of that inline four, revving up, brake modulation, the feedback you get is so wonderful. It's almost like your toes are touching those Brembos. Here we go. Really holds a line very well. On the brakes. This thing is a little race car, it really is. But it's a car that you have fun, it really just makes you appreciate, appreciate driving. That's what you do with this car. And you're not getting out of control, you're not going all over the place. It keeps aligned so nicely, that limited slip differential, getting the power down, perfectly balanced. It's, it's a joy. It's a joy to drive. I love driving it. Every day this week that I've owned this thing, uh, I don't want to give it back. Mazda, I don't want to give this back. All right, guys. I'm going to do a little bit of twisty bits with the top up, just so you can hear all the sounds inside. I love this car. I love it. You just let the RPM 
rims pull, 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 pull. Great sound on the brakes, downshift. Doing the business. Love this car, love this road. It's amazing. On the brakes. Tip it in. What a freaking blast. This car is amazing. I love it. And this is why having the press fleet vehicle, being able to take it out on some of these twisty roads here in Florida, probably some of the only twisty roads, makes it even more incredible. All right, guys, another thing I just want to touch on is you can see that the Recaro seats, they really hold you in nice, but not too tight. Everything is perfectly placed in here. I feel very comfortable, and I'm six feet tall, uh, so I'm not uh, some some short, really short person that um, would feel even more comfortable in here. Uh, they really have tailored this to fit many different body types, and that's what's great about it. And it's okay being short. Listen, there's certain times where being tall is a pain, but uh, I'm gonna take us through one little last section of twisties here, and we're gonna wrap this up. So I'm gonna drop down to second gear, 4,000 RPM, here we go. On the brakes. Love the feedback, the feedback is amazing in this car. I can feel what the rear end is doing back there. Look at this, carry the speed. Nicely done. This thing, I'm telling you. I wish I lived in North Carolina right now, because I tell you, I'd be all over the Dragon, Cherola Skyway, Blue Ridge Parkway, all day long. I wouldn't be shooting much content, at least car reviews, I'd be doing all driving uh, of, of me and the Miata on those roads. But hopefully this gave you a great taste of what it's all about. Just to show you, as I drop the speed down, to about 25, roof goes back, and your sunshine driving again. But uh, we're gonna wrap this one up. Hopefully it's been uh, helpful and showing you how great the Mazda Miata is. I don't have really any zonks about that, that's for sure. But uh, I'll see you in a split second. We're gonna wrap it up. See you guys in a second. All right, guys, it's been a wonderful, magical time with this Mazda MX-5 Miata. I'll be honest with you, I don't want to give it back to Mazda next week. I want to keep this one permanently. And you know what? I really don't care what anybody says about that. Because you know, people are always going to talk. Let them talk. You're going to be enjoying life driving around in this beautiful car. But I definitely got to give a huge thank you to everybody at Mazda, allowing me access to their press fleet vehicles. If these are the types of things that you like to see on Rennie's Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making this great content just for you, get yourself some merch. Click the link in the description. It really goes a long way. And speaking of going a long way, Big Guns McGee is not here. He's actually a long distance. We got Big Guns Jr. O'Neill stepping up to the plate. He's eating a bunch of steaks. He just drank uh, a whole gallon of raw eggs. It was very interesting to see. Hopefully, he's able to uh, keep it down because we got another car to film. But thank you, O'Neill, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.